Peru and Peruvians are quite literally all but underwater. Over 500,000 Peruvians are displaced after days and days of rains have produced floods in an area that is, for the most part, a gigantic floodplain, talking about much of the topography of Peru. You know, it's really amazing to me that we haven't, through the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, and other aid programs, or just simply United States and industrialized country aid, recognize Peru's need to have an appropriate system of rivers, tributaries, dams, and reservoirs to curb this problem. Not only that, if your answer is, well, perhaps the problem is that they built in the floodplain, okay, why not have special architecture to deal with the worst-case scenario weather like we're seeing in that area? It boggles the mind. The 48 people that have died need not have done so. The half million people, over half million people displaced need not be so at that level. We really have to pay attention to, as someone put it on Twitter, the needs of poor countries. Someone else said that if this were France, you'd hear about this all over the place, but barely a peep. If it were not for Twitter and social media, would have heard about this a long time ago. This is absolutely, I mean, today, this is absolutely terrible. This has been going on since February. It's just simply gotten so worse with you know, dams causing, well, excuse me, with rivers so overflowing that the water has spilled into the streets in Lima, Peru, that now it's got the world's attention thanks to platforms like Twitter. But the bottom line is, it shouldn't take that for us to respond. And Peru should not be in the situation that it's in. One publication said that drought gave way to floods in this example of climate change. We shouldn't sit back and argue about the existence of climate change. We should simply accept it as fact move forward and plan. To not plan against change in the greatest force of all other than God, nature, is utterly stupid. Pray for Peru.